Welcome to our lecture online. In the previous two videos, we showed you how to solve the unbalanced YY circuit. And in this video, we're going to show you how to calculate the power consumed by the three portions of the Y load. The, we have an inductive impedance there, we have a capacitive impedance, and we have a resistor over here on the three portions of the Y load. And we're going to show you how to calculate the power consumed by those three portions of the load. The equation is that the power consumed is equal to the current squared times the impedance. Now, to do this problem, we have to calculate the currents. So here we have IA, IB, and IC, which were calculated on the previous videos. So what we do now is we take IA and we square that. Notice there's no phase angle because we only want the magnitude squared times the impedance. The impedance does have a phase angle, so when we multiply, we have a magnitude phase angle. Notice it's pointing in the upward direction. That means it's purely inductive, so we have a total power of 16,128 16, var volt ampere reactive. Of course, we could say VA volt ampere, but it's actually only an inductive load. On SB, we have the current squared, 25.46 and multiply times the impedance. Notice the impedance is purely resistive, so therefore we have no phase angle, so the power consumed by this portion of the load is 6,482 watts. And finally, the third impedance, we take the current IC squared times the impedance, 42.77 squared. Again, no phase angle, just the magnitude. And here we have a phase angle of minus 90 degrees, which indicates it's purely capacitive. So we have a magnitude of 18,293 with a negative 90 degree phase angle, or a minus J 18,293. Again, we could say VAR, volt ampere reactive, because it's purely a reactive power. If we then combine the three, notice that the total power, which is the power to the entire load, is simply the algebraic sum of the three individual power values. And so when we combine the imaginary parts and we have the real part, notice a real part magnitude of 6042 and an imaginary part of minus 2168. And there we write volt ampere because it's indeed the complex power. So this would be the complex power of the load, S for the load, equal to this value in volt ampere. And that is how we find the power on a YY load problem like that. That's how it's done.